Yeah, Sonic has passed. Oh, out Starlight Zone. One of the better levels in this game. No, I got the Spring Yard. You got the Spring Yard and that's it? Pretty much. Did you even go past Labyrinth Zone? You never got yeah. to. You, so you never got to Starlight? I don't think I did. Okay, so there you go. Like, you go down here for a little bit. It's kind of neat. And then, if you can. Go up there, come on, and up there, and boom! Extra life, right oh, there. Ba bananas. I don't know why bananas, but bananas. It's like getting hit with Soraka's, uh, Soraka's ult auto attack. Bananas. See, this is... This is better, this right here. Is, oh god, so much better. Like... Oh jeez! You're not gonna throw your stuff, pal? Alright, I'll just jump over you. I think he designed. He's designed to trick you. Probably, because normally those those little guys like throw those, right? But no, this go. Oh jeez, that is that is a that looks like something that shoots something. So I'm going to get away from it. See, this is a better design level. Infinitely better. When you get hit, though, it feels fair. It doesn't feel like you just, you know, got thrown into something. Exactly. Like, You're like I, I don't okay, feel, I, got I don't feel necessarily this. cheated in this level. Like, I am I'm fine not even with, playing. I, I feel fine. more comfortable. I am fine with this level. Very fine. Because Starlight Zone is actually pretty darn cool. It's a good level. That and the, the design is interesting. Like, the aesthetics are interesting. It, it has this, like... There's the level of... It's pretty. It's pretty to look at. Labyrinth Zone's kind of ugly. It's another reason why I don't like it. It looks ugly. I I don't think it looks that bad, but... Ugh. Ugh. The colors, it's like this... This... Ugh. Green and beige. It's... Ugh. Even though this is green... It's a... It it's contrast a with the bluish purple in the background. It's yes. nice. It's, it's very nice. I like it. I like the blue and the purples! Oh, okay. Uh, for example... That was pretty good, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, that was solid. See, I got past this no problem. See, another thing though, I like aesthetically well done designed levels. Part of the reason I keep going back to World of Warcraft is because I love the design of the levels. I love the design of the the the, the, the bosses are fun. I don't like the fact that they're all daily quests now. I, my friends and I will call it World of Daily Craft. Um, because it's wow, nothing dude. but dailies. It's, oh god, you have no idea how bad it is. Well, There's... it's because I don't really play World of Warcraft anymore. No, I know, but, but it's bad. Can it's... I go under this guy? Yes, I can. It... Yep, it's designed to teach you that. And, yes! Oh, oh no, I can't, I guess I can't go up there. I'm not supposed to. Okay, fine, I'll just do this. But and look at this! You have to do dailies to unlock more dailies. That's how bad it is. Ugh. Like, I don't want to do daily quests. I don't- I, I want to do a few. I heard that's one of the biggest problems of Pandaria. Oh god, oh, everything else is great! I love everything else about Pandaria. I hate this. That and the fact that the stakes are kind of low in comparison to Cataclysm. We've had this conversation before, haven't I, we? I know, but we haven't had this conversation before. Yeah, we did, but we didn't, and they can't see my gestures. Collectively. <laughs> That's you. Um, but yeah, I, I don't oh, like. Geez. I it. really don't like the fact that daily quests. I think. Oh they... wow! I remember these. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, they return with these uh, later in. Uh... Okay, I kind of messed that up. The good thing about it is, like, if you keep doing it, you go higher and higher as you go. See? So if you wanna. Get a little yeah, reward right forms. there. Might yeah. as well go. Uh, but but that the stakes are lower than Cataclysm. And and you know what? Cataclysm was poorly managed. I think the theme of it was really cool. Uh, I wish I could have played through the whole thing. I really got the tail end. And when I mean the tail end, I mean I picked up the expansion the last month of right. Cataclysm. I, I wish I could have experienced it, but I know that the game kind of blew its load oh, geez. with with its patches in the first year. This might all go on your channel, man. You're kicking it with the commentary. Oh, God. It's just... <laughs> There's just so many things that it's like... There's so many things to talk about. You gotta pace it. 
You gotta pace your game. I mean, I did Ice I played Ice Crown Citadel. That was some fun shit. I didn't get through the entire thing because, you know, I, you know, life comes up and you don't have time for World of Warcraft, but it's it's that's a little unfair right there, but hey. Yeah, yeah, I can I can I can forgive that. I mean, you've got rings though. You've got rings to make up for it. Yes. And there's a reward for not getting hit all the time. You essentially can have an endless life supply, but you are rewarded for not getting hit all the time. So you oh don't boy. always matter. Oh boy! Oh boy! But... I mean... The, the the theming of Cataclysm... Oh, it stops. Okay. ...is great. I love the feeling that you're... You know, all of these... What's the word? I'm losing my, my train of thought here. Because <laughs> um, you're talking like crazy, man. <laughs> but but I'm just here playing Sonic uh, the yeah, Hedgehog, no. Sonic the freaking Hedgehog. But 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 it's, oh whoa, oh, that's, that's cool. Okay, that's cool. Okay, careful, careful. Okay, got it. And boom, 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 boom. Shield, awesome, awesome. And I immediately lose it. That was my bad. That's your fault. <laughs> See, I feel justified that I got hit because you know it's your fault. Oh. Okay, so you feel like you're preventing something. You feel like you're pushing off these monsters a little bit longer. You're, it, it has this, these themes of Lovecraft in it, where there's these, ugh, you know, you've got these old gods that are really controlling the show, and, sure. and, and Deathwing is just a, a pawn of these, you know, of the, these basically totally not Cthulhu monsters. <laughs> and totally not kept the okay. And and that's kind of one of the themes of of HP Lovecraft is that you don't really win. You just push it off a little bit longer. Uh, where do I go from here? Yeah, that's weird. Take the spring. Yeah, into a wall. Oh! Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I got it. Uh, Right. Then you gotta go. Oh. Then you gotta go over that. That's what you gotta do. You gotta use that. That's smart. That teaches you. Just lean into it. No, I think I'm stuck. I don't think you're stuck. Lean into the. Uh... Ah, there got it. Go. See what I mean? Okay, that was cool. But where do I go from here? Like, I'm- I'm literally stuck. Uh, oh. Okay. So, that- okay. that was not- that was not the game's fault. I should have known that from before, because it happened before. It was forced onto me from a springboard. And- oh, jeez, is this game going to- yes, it is- oh, wow. Okay, now this boss fight, I remember. This teaches- this has taught you already. That's why this is cool. Oh, you gotta launch into the next yes. one. Yes. Oh! Right there. Okay. Rings, recover. Rings, recover. Gotcha! Nice. I like this level in particular because there's two ways to do it. Yeah. See that? And... There you go. That... that, that. And I... Another thing that I would love in Warcraft. Okay. And we're going back to this, but... Oh, boy. You... you, The old dungeons are still good. They are still well-designed pieces of game. Oh, thank you guys for tuning in for Starlight Zone. <laughs> and, and they're more like tuning in for Nick talking about Warcraft. I'll say! <laughs> and Oscar talking about, uh... And Oscar playing Sonic. 